As humbling as this was for BYU, it was historically good for Utah State. First time they've beaten the Cougars in back-to-back -back years in 44 years. First time they've scored 40 points or more in four straight games ever. The Aggies racked up 223 yards rushing, held BYU to just 39. They forced three turnovers compared to none. I mean, this was domination. What does it say about this team that you can come into their home field and dominate like you did? Um, I think it shows, I mean, how good we are this year. I mean, we're going to be uh, a really good team. I mean, we are a really good team. So, I mean, it just, it just shows that. You know, to actually play them and beat them at their own field, you know, it, 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 it also builds, it stacks confidence every week, you know, and, and we're just going to keep going at it and come back Monday ready to for, ready for next week. Um, you know, I spent three years of my life here in Provo playing for this program for Bronco and Kalani and to come back down with my brothers from Logan and to win in that fashion and to, to dominate them, frankly, felt great. There's a lot of pride for us at Utah State in, in, in a game like this. And so um, really, really proud of our, our assistant coaches and, uh, and our players who can be more proud of them. And what a feeling to keep the wagon wheel trophy in Logan for another year. I feel like we might have wasted a little bit of gas bringing it down. <laughs> <laughs> frankly. Yeah, I mean, we got a big truck, I guess. As for BYU, the defense could not stop the Aggies, and while Tanner Mangum threw for a season high 277 yards, this team has lost its identity. Different outcome than we expected, and, and a rough game for us, but we really didn't help ourselves up front but uh, in the run game, but uh, the, the truth is they, they, they stuffed us, you know. Uh, we felt like we, in, in, in three games, we had an identity of running the ball, and um, need to find, uh, evaluate everything and find, find you know what, what we're about. We just need to tackle better. You know, sometimes we we let some slip, and uh, that just comes with preparation and um, fundamentals and little things like that. I guess still believe. I believe in our players. I believe. I, I just, you know, we talked about in the, in the locker room. We we we're not playing BYU football. We're not playing our style of football. That's just not us. Um, last week wasn't us. This week wasn't us. I feel like those first three games, uh, we kind of built our identity as a tough, smart, smart team, and I feel like we're kind of falling away from that. While these teams are going in opposite directions, the Aggies return to Mountain West play next week at home against UNLV, while BYU hosts Hawaii. At Lavelle Edwards Stadium, I'm Dana Green, News 4, Utah Sports.